Yeah, I have to do Fenner's so I can get um Isabella. Your girl Isabella. My... I almost said your boy Isabella, and then I realized she's not a boy, and then I realized she wouldn't give a fuck. Your boy. If they, like, you called her your boy. She'd she sure call herself your boy Isabella. She sure, sure wouldn't. Because <clears throat> who says your girl? I guess people do. But your boy, it's, your boy just sounds more Your funny. boy. Excuse me. Your boy Sharps Highwayman. Your boy Sharps Highwayman. Highwayman, comma Sharps, as it said on my uh, birth certificate. Excuse me. Speaking of birth certificates. Are birth certificates last name first? I have no idea. Actually, I do know. You do know. You just got yours. Because I just got mine. Speaking of birth certificates, For um, it's not. Reason. At least not in Utah. Um, I recently had to order a certified copy of my birth certificate because. Uh, Boo boo! Killed the shit out of him. Nice. Well, because um, we have that real ID thing happening, uh, in the United States, where <coughs> we? where your driver's license um will no longer be able to be used to board public transit oh, or airplanes. I thought that was only in certain states. It's, for now, there are certain states that, uh, their ID fits the qualifications that are necessary for yeah. now. Ours is good and Missouri's um, isn't, that's what I remember. And, uh, after 2020, I think every state will have to have, like, you'll have to, everyone, everywhere will have to go get a real ID driver's license, is my understanding of it. Real and, um, ID slash or what? And the, the difference is to renew your driver's license and get the real ID version, you have to take, among other things, usually a copy of your birth certificate. Hmm. Um, and I don't have one of those. I do now, but I didn't. Uh, but I'm I'm planning to move in this next year. Knock on wood. I say that every goddamn year. But I figure I've never heard it before. I figure instead of you should level up your peeps. I'm going <laughs> to. I figure instead of waiting until 2020 and going through this whole rigmarole, then I might as well do it when I get a new driver's license in the state I'm moving to, because I'm gonna have to be doing a bunch of other shit anyway and just get it fucking all done at once. Uh, and then, in theory, I don't know whether this will work in practice, but I guess I'll have my birth certificate anyway. But in theory, if I have a real ID from one state, then if I move again, I can be like, well, look, it, I have the, the thing. Can I just not get the thing? But I um, I was going to do it this year when I got, or last year, 2018, when I got my driver's license renewed. Whoops. But I didn't happen <laughs> to have my birth certificate with me. Um. A, you don't want to give them strength? I mean. And, uh, and B, I didn't realize my driver's license was expired until like two months after it expired. And I only realized because the TSA told me at the airport. But that worked out because A, apparently they accept it for up to six months after it's expired, and B, I happened to have my passports with me anyway. That is convenient. So. Yeah, I was like, can I just use my passport instead of getting a real ID or whatever? You can. You can. That's entire. That's what I was intending to do because I have it. Like most people, because why? A lot the of fuck the vast not? majority, I would say, of the United States population doesn't have a passport. Oh yeah. So it, like, like I get it. It's a huge inconvenience for them. I was entirely just planning to travel with a passport anyway. I was going to be angry about it, travel with a passport inside my own goddamn country. <laughs> but, um, but A, I almost never fly unless it's to you go to Brazil anyway. That one time when I got on the plane using just a student ID, ID but they had to, like, call Obama to get married. Uh, yeah, actually, <coughs> um... Indy and I, sorry about all the coughing in the last, like, I'm 10... I'm not sorry, it's <clears throat> fucking February. Sorry about all the coughing in the last, like, 10,000 episodes of every goddamn show I've been in. But it's I February. Have, I have a respiratory illness that it's is... called asthma. I, I, that is permanent, and it causes me great distress when the thin is, when the air is even a little bit shitty. Um, but, uh, Indy and I went to Utah the year before last year, I think it was. Okay. Um, because Jess got married. Okay. And, um, Indy left her wallet in the cab of the wrong taxi. Hey, that's and stupid. <laughs> called. Well, we didn't realize it was the wrong taxi. It was like two in the morning and like this taxi came that wasn't for us, but maybe it was, but then it wasn't. So we left mm. and then that taxi left and our actual taxi showed up and she realized when we got to the airport, um, <laughs> that's a fucking bummer that, uh, she had left her thing in the thing and she tried to call them and they were basically, as soon as she said, I left my wallet. They were like, doesn't matter. They hung up. They hung up on her. Wow. And she called and they they just stopped picking up the phone. So I Our tried calling now, and fuckers. said the one thing and yeah. And it wouldn't even have been a big deal except A, she was flying and B, she had like $200 in wow. there. Wow. Yeah. What, a, what so, an asshole taxi service. Um, here's the name of that taxi service. Don't use their goddamn taxis. Um, I posted on their, like, they didn't have a website or anything. They didn't, Yelp. um, they didn't even have that, so I just posted on their Facebook, like, hey. Fuck you guys. That was pretty shitty of you. <laughs> um, so she had to, like, she didn't have anything, no way to prove her identity at all, mm. other than that she had the tickets, because they were in her purse and not in her wallet. Right. Um, why she, her wallet wasn't in her purse is a whole other deal. That's her problem, <laughs> not mine. But anyway, it's all resolved now. Her, the biggest disappointment, but yeah, they had to call, like, basically the president they to verify president, yeah. her. It was a good thing she was, like, two hours early for her flight, but, <clears throat> um, the biggest disappointment for her was that her student ID was in it, and she was planning to keep that as a souvenir. 
Welp. But she can't get a new one because she graduated. I gave mine to my brother so he could sneak his now wife into a basketball thing. Sneaky. Did you have to swipe the card or does his wife just look like you? On the cheeks. I just think they don't even look that hard. Like... Well, yeah, as somebody no who rode the mansion. Jayhawk bus mm-hmm. as a not KU student. Yeah, oh, they ever. never check yeah. that yeah. shit. They, they literally they never check for They check for games, but, like, they never check that <laughs> shit. Yeah, I, I rode the Jayhawk bus with, I think with that people was his who now were wife. students more than once. I think that was his name, <coughs> but, um, um, may not have been. What's the worst that could happen? May have been I an don't know, I do not I don't fear know. death. But that does not mean we should be reckless. Doesn't it? Mm. What's that lady in the background? We always doing? only have did, one life. Did you see that lady in the background? I did not. But if she was there, we'll, let's, we'll do a slow zoom on her with a bunch of question marks. Who the fuck is this? I'm gonna bring... Don't take Fenner's. Unselected. Um, Delete the lock. Um, I like Fenner's just fine. It would just be funny to not take him. Yeah. I'm not gonna take Meryl. This is one of those I games I am gonna where, take Bethany. This is one of those games For where, the drama. Of course. This is one of those games where, like, the more I've played it, the more I've mellowed out towards Finners, um, mm-hmm. and I get more angry yeah, towards Anders, Anders every time. Yeah, because the first time I played it, obviously, I was fresh off Awakening, mm-hmm. and I liked Anders in that. Weird, um, but okay. Well, it was, like, ten years ago. All right, um, I accept it. Uh, and then, like, you know, it's just as the game went on, I found him more and more annoying, but I also found Finners very annoying. But mm-hmm. then I've replayed this game, like, you know, a dozen times, mm-hmm. and every time I hate Anders more, and, and Finners, I'm more like, like well, yeah, that's, I don't, fine. like, that's reasonable. Um, and you can be reasoned with, um, much like the first time I played Inquisition, I was like, oh my god, Sarah, I love her! And then at the end I was like, well, we can probably make it work. And then immediately when I replayed it, immediately I was like, god, I hate you so much! <laughs> and it was the opposite. I was like, Solus, you're a little annoying, but fine. And then at the end I was like, you fucking hypocritical butthole! And then every other time I'm playing through it, I'm like, well, I mean, I do support what you're doing, so now that I'm, like, separated by time, I'm a little less mad about what a hypocrite you are. But you are still a big fucking hypocrite, and I would love to smack you in the face about it. So, mellowing out. Mellowing out. It's up a little sometimes. It's like that sometimes. Not with Anders. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Go fuck that guy. I'm not going to. You can't make me. Oh, Anders. I'm I'm keeping an open mind. I'm getting him last, but I'm keeping an open mind. Have, have you decided yet whether you'll kill him? Or send him off or force him to fight with you? We'll see. No, I haven't. We'll see. I, I always sort of... Man, I play it by ear. Cool, cool. We shall see. I guess so, yeah, no. I very specifically didn't look up anything when we decided to, like do this i was like i'm just gonna out let it happen i mean what do you need to look up you beat in this game a hundred times well that you know my memory come on that's fair um i wasn't i just wanted to see how much i remembered and how much right right um <clears throat> i've been editing the uh life is strange before the storm episodes mm-hmm. and uh there's a part that i know happened but i can't remember whether it's in episode two like before the storm episode two not Doom plays a game episode two, sure. or episode three, where we started on this whole bit about like, hi, it's Internet Superstar, the Doom Merchant. And I just like to say, and that went on for like fifteen minutes, and I'm excited to get to it because we were all pretty drunk, but I remember it being really funny. <laughs> well, but, let's see if it's actually be, funny. Right, it'll be super great if I have to put a disclaimer that's like, we were all drunk. This was way funnier at the time, and it is in retrospect. Hey, that's like sorry. That's like the time we watched Twilight, Twilight with uh, Gishfish. Gefilte Gish. I don't know what you call her. Maybe not. I call I call her Gefilte Gish or Kagish Fish. Gefilte Gish is the thing that only I call her, so I insist on calling her that because it's like my personal nickname for I see, her. I see. What am I doing? <laughs> You're just going through ah! the door that closes every time. Ooh, trap. Right ahead. Um, hey, got him. You just go through that door and then it closes when you go back so you think it's a new area. That's what happened like three times. I think I, I'm i not as directionally challenged as the, the warden, but like Oh, yeah, you didn't grow up in a circle. A literal circle. A literal circle. Um, I- the fact that Fenris, like, eminent domain, like, squatters rights is this place, but yeah. refuses to, like- Clean it up. Clean it up Sad. at all is a huge mood. <laughs> it's exactly yeah. what I would do. Hi, 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 Rage Demon. I want to- I have a move I'd like to use on you. Is oh. it- It's actually this one, but I didn't- Someone's in the way. Yeah, something like that. There you go. Fuck you. <clears throat> Did you move the difficulty back down? Do you remember? I think I did. 
but that's, I which is fine. Don't totally remember. reasonable. Like it's normal. Look, that pile of gold had a heavy shield in it. It was a shield that looked like a pile of gold. And that was a pile of ash that looked like a pile of gold. And that was two silver pieces and three copper pieces that looked like a pile of gold. <laughs> Weird. Interesting. Pretty sure there's a chest in here that I can open because no, I'm a wizard. Yeah, no, you because you're not a wizard. Because I'm a rogue. Fucking idiot. I just have started saying, well, because I'm a wizard, or like, well, I'm not a wizard. I mean, fair. And it's because, um... Having some trouble with the door. Yes, always. I mean, that's fair. Hey, it's because, um... Oh, no, your bodies didn't sink into the mounds. My, uh, one of my teachers was a huge dick to me by, like, when we were talking about my grades and shit. She was like, well, I'm not a wizard. So I started saying Wow, it. petty of both of you, and yeah. I approve. I don't know, like, I just didn't, I wasn't intentional that I started saying no, well, it, but yeah, I still, have. Still to the left, yeah. Well, to your right. To the game. left, to the left. Actually, it's game north, apparently, according to the mini-map. According to the mid-map. Go in here. Guess not. Min map, as they say, as no one says. As no one says. Do you have any uh, thoughts on? Oh wait, you haven't beaten Inquisition yet, so never mind. No, I have no thoughts. Yeah, I've never, never had a thought, never in, my had a thought in my life. Might as well be a blonde joke, because those are timely. Super, anyway, super timely. Moving How on. come people don't uh, call blonde stupid anymore? What changed? Or do people call blonde stupid still? Um, I think there's still there's still like shade. a cultural thing that they're like a little doofy. But I don't. I don't know that blondes are stupid. Is it's weird. is as relevant in the cultural mainstream. Well, that's a lot of dudes. Yeah. As it was maybe fifteen years ago. I mean, dental hygiene students. Now it's kind of about like racism. Right. Like right. Now, we're into, now we're into racism. Right. Instead, of, <laughs> instead of like, haha, blondes are stupid. Haha. Now it's like, man, those black people. And it's like, no, that's not. <clears throat> that's not a joke. That's just racism. <laughs> Um, I actually saw a uh, bumper All the sticker. dental hygiene students are all uh, blondes, though, so I'm kind of like, hmm. Interesting. Not all of them, wonder, but, like, I wonder what about, I don't know. It's just the type of, it's a very type, type A, preppy, a. I was about to say, it's probably a type A it's, personality it's, type thing. It's kind of bizarre because these people are all, like, type A, preppy, blonde, sporty. Well, not all, but, like, a good chunk. Mm -hmm. A good uh, 60%, I okay. would say. Um, but they're also weird like, science and tooth nerds. <laughs> like, Interesting. Well, I think you become a science and tooth nerd. No, they were already like Because you weren't a science and tooth nerd beforehand at all. Uh, no, but I've always been, like, a, a nerd, a math nerd. Well, yeah, that's true. But, like... A STEM nerd. A STEM nerd. I have always I'm like been a, a STEM nerd. How I'm dare like you a, say anything else? I'm like a we liberal arts majors who can't read numbers. Yeah. Call myself out here. Um... I actually, um... But no, yeah, they're, they... Mm, interesting. That's weird like that, I don't know. I was doing a, I was building a spreadsheet, um... <laughs> Fun. In Excel. I actually like building spreadsheets, because Excel does the math for you. Um, but, uh, and I was like... I so I put, use that someday. So I put this formula here... I mean, I can use here. that! <laughs> I was like, I put this formula here and this formula here, and then it auto does the math for these things, because it's gonna be weird numbers, and I'm pretty bad at math, and my boss, who I was building the spreadsheet for, was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, legit. Because anytime I have to do anything funky with my spreadsheet, I feel like I've talked about this before, but anytime I take, like... You talked about it to me personally. Any any weird amount of time off that's not, like, a single hour increment, or, like, when it's, like, 1.5 or whatever, I always somehow fuck up the math, even though it's really easy to do. And my boss just emails me and is like, or calls me and is like, all right, so let's do the math together. Oh, God. <laughs> I always feel so dumb. I never feel... I often feel like I don't know what I'm doing or don't know what I'm talking about just in life because I don't know everything mm -hmm. about everything, which may be a shocker to you guys, but <clears throat> but never do I feel genuinely, like, stupid other than when I'm doing math. One time, Doom was taking a math class while uh, ah, I she this. and I were dating, and my mom was like, hey, if you're fucking my daughter, maybe you should get some math help. That, that's real. That happened. That's you guys. a real story. That that's really a real happened. thing. She that's really a very said. my mom thing. To I don't think say. you were in the car either. I was. In, I was she had, not. She I had, I think, a there. van. I think at the time. I don't know. But I was in the front with her, and we were outside your apartment because you had to run inside and get something. And she turned to me and says, "If you're gonna be sleeping with my daughter, you might as well ask her for help with your math homework." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna though." And she just <laughs> sighed. That put a bond sigh of a mother. That's very my mom. <laughs> so very that character. is very your, mom. your mom's a dear. I love her, I Leslie. I have the sort of mom who, okay, so uh, I'm working at the low income, no, I wanted to loot gone. stuff. We don't have to do this. Gone. The loot. It's gone. I'm it's currently on rotation at the low income, like, in town 
um, dental clinic, and, and I happened to run into a girl there who her I and I were like besties, besties in sixth and seventh grade, and then like wow. totally ran out. Like not like she's working there, right. like not as a hygienist, but like as a as a desk right. lady. But, like, and she's friendship like friendship immediately just ran out of friendship to have. I don't know. I just didn't. Well, she like moved and like to Topeka, and like oh, geez. Who, who lives there? Mm-hmm. No one. I don't know, it just kind of, like, and you're you're young enough at that point when then, you know, there weren't cell phones. Yeah, you just go out and fall out of Like, we just kind of fell out of contact. Um, and... Obviously, she recognized you because you haven't aged. Well, Since I, 1992. She looks pretty similar, too, frankly. But I was also, like, like, the first day, like, I was, like, in my cube and, like, the front desk's over there, and I was, like, looking, like... like Is that on someone's mm-hmm. But, um, and, like... Uh, we did, so, like, the kind of catch-up we were doing, I was like, so how have you been? And she was like, well, I got married three years ago, and I'm doing my grad degree. And I'm like, oh, cool. It's kind of the catch-up you have to do when there's that much time between you. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I live alone with a cat, so I'm still trying to get an associate's. But, you know, do you your thing. You do you. Um, What's your grad degree going to be? Do some mind? sort of biology thing. I Damn. wasn't paying Smarty pants. that much attention. Smarty pants. Yeah, but she's, like, doing some sort of mix of biology and, like... Helping Wizard out magic. With, helping out with, like, poor people things, which is, like, well, I'm into that. that's what you yeah. want to do, right? Um, right on. And... For the good of her. But I have the kind of mom that she was, like, say hi to your mom, like, ask your mom how she is, like, even though we haven't spoken in, like, you know, whatever. For sure. It's like, how's your mom? She's seen my mom more recently than she's seen me, because they ran into each other at a bazaar on Lawrence, like... Of course. Why wouldn't they? Of yeah. course. Why not? A Christmas bazaar. That's funny. Yeah. I was just like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah. I had a... But yeah, I had the kind of mom that friends were like, how's your mom? And I'm like, do you want to know about me? And they're like, no, how's your mom? <laughs> I mean, I guess kind of a bummer for you, but that's and cool Who gives a mom? shit about you? Eh, it's fine with me. It's cool for your mom. We're all kind of just like, uh, dark magic. look at us all just like, uh. Yeah, he, he ran out first so he could pose dramatically. Be like, it never ends. And this is just like a And also, you're a witch! No shit, chips. <laughs> You can speak to me directly. I am right here. I saw you casting spells inside. Yeah, you really hey, I should wasn't, have. I wasn't hiding it, you idiot. Yeah, you really should yeah. have. She's I, like, I have the dress Here's and the stick. Here's my stick, dumbass! I have the dress and the magic stick, you fucking douchebag. Don't call my sister an it. My sister is stronger than you think. You tell him, sis. Yeah! Yes, sis, do it! I know magic has its uses, and there are undoubtedly mages with good intentions. Fair enough. But even the best intentioned mage can fall prey to temptation. AKA Can't anyone in the blood magic. No one's stopping you from moving Says the blood on mage. Now. I, I mean magic's not real, but if it were. <laughs> if so, Says the Dragon Age 2 blood mage. The dog heard something outside. The truth. I did not find it. I like this, this. But I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Are you going to have a problem with my companions? I will watch them Companion. carefully. I mean, I guess Meryl too, but I know you're going to have a problem with Meryl. Oh. <laughs> like, that, there's that one post that's going around, like, it's like, Fenris approves, Anders approves, like, you yelled at Meryl, didn't you? <laughs> Well, I'm planning an expedition. You can come. I might need help with. You know what I've never done? Fair enough. Take and finish the deep breath. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. Um, <laughs> I was just going to say, um, I've never actually done the one where you just get as few like Beyond companions that, as possible so slash get rid disposal. of people as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it would be fun to do a playthrough like that of all three games, but then I'd have to play Origins again. I don't want to. <laughs> Fuck that! I don't want to. <laughs> I do it on PC where I can mod out entire sections of the game. Yeah, there you where go. I can start the game and then immediately be at the end of it. That sounds like I've the best place. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I uh, I made that joke on the phone you with Andy the other I'm day, and she didn't laugh because she didn't get it. That's the. F- I say that shit all the time now. Same. Anything. Same. Anytime I've done something. Anything, <laughs> especially something like menial. Yeah. I've done it. I've done it. New quest, Fenris resurrected. What? He's not dead. Hmm, Probably. Pretty sure. But really, the mo- I'm going to go get Isabella now. That's... Well, of course. That was the only reason I have you, Fenris. Not um, the only reason. I had a friend growing up. Um, we went to the same school uh, when it was like... Cool I almost school. said junior high. To the, we went to the same kindergarten. 
<laughs> Those um, are different. <laughs> and then uh, when I went to second grade at the private school, she, um, my my parents convinced her parents to send her there, like for the good of her education. Um, and it really did do wonders for her. Nice. She was not on a great track for a four year old. <laughs> Whatever age you are when you went to the second grade. Um, oh, I'm but- seven. I'm gonna say seven. I no idea. Um, but her okay, mom. Okay, Fenner's uh, or Unbidden Rescue. Her mom worked at the same place my dad did, so I, I called her mom Lisa because that's everyone called her Lisa, mm-hmm. and her mom never really minded. Um, and she she was a mom that was like that. That was like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. So how's your mom though? So how's your mom though? Um, last I heard of her, not her mom, but last I heard of her, she's living in California and works at a Harley Davidson dealership, which is cool. San Diego, I want to say. Um, and I have no idea about her mom. She also has a brother who. Was yeah, she place? she left. Go back in here? She left the private school to go to this really fucking kick ass soccer college. But, Ooh, that's neat. But I think she Did suffered. Did she go an, for soccer? Yeah, <laughs> I think she suffered an injury and oh, had to stop, brother. which is a which is a bummer. Cause she was she was fucking great What's at soccer. To my bro is swell. That sucks. Let's see. Yeah, it sucks to suck, you know, injuries, doesn't it? Et cetera. That's her. Hey, and there's her mom. She lives in San Diego. I was correct. Hey, cool. What's this? Neat. Do not believe it. I'll read that later. Oh, sorry. Hi. Hi, Winners. I'm uh, gonna read these. Not like you're using them, am I right? <laughs> am I right? You can't read it. Nonsense. Egregio Pavali. There are six this honestly, Fitters is such a mood, though. For sure, no, for sure. I think part of part of what when I was dating you and I was playing all of these, I was going to make me and romance Fitters because he is very you. Yeah, I was. I was about to say like I um, I like part of the reason that I mellowed out about hating Fitters is like with the passage of time. Out about hitting yourself. Well, I no, I did. I did not. But what happened was the same reason that like when I take those really long D and D alignment tests, I used to always mm-hmm. get lawful evil, and now it's true neutral or mm-hmm. law or uh, or chaotic That's neutral. Good. I can still um, take pleasure in true small neutral. things. It's, it's just that I became less like pretentious about shit. Mm. It was basically like less like oh you know. I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't get it. So like, I I stopped mistake. being so like. Perish the thought. I don't know, just stop being such a dick about stuff. Like, you can listen to shitty music, it's fine. I'm not gonna sit in front of you and be like, your music is stupid. Oh my god, why aren't, why aren't we dating now? I'll take it. I'll take it, but I won't say it, um, kind of a thing. Right. I just went from I'll, th- I'll, I went from I'll think it and Never. I'll go out of my way to tell you that I hate everything that you stand for to I'll think it, but I won't say it. Mm-hmm. And that change alone vastly improved my life and my perceptions of fitters. <laughs> Um, you know, sometimes you look up people that you knew when you were a kid and you were like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. I lost my brother. Because this is one of those moments, I think. Whoa, holy shit. Yeah, right? Damn. Should have kept in touch. Girl. She is hot. <laughs> I love you, Andy. <laughs> Just a reminder. <laughs> reminder that I love my girlfriend very much. That bitch is hot, though. I mean, she's probably not. <laughs> She's probably not available anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe straight, but I don't know with that haircut though. Yeah, well, exactly. I was. That's exactly what I was thinking because this is the this is the last picture I remember seeing of her, which also damn. But, but, but then I saw the haircut. And I was like, hmm. It turned out well enough. Oh, what was I saying? It's gone now. Oh yeah, but no, like. Squatting in the house, not cleaning, and drinking all the wine, and then smashing the bottles all the Right, wall. that is, ex- that's, that's, not only is that a mood, that's a very, like, that's 2012 doom mood yeah. in particular. Mm-hmm. The biggest mood. Mm-hmm. The biggest bottles, the biggest mood. Why oh, haven't yeah, been? We popping the biggest bottles. Can I go in these places? No, I couldn't go in them previously. Oh, adventures in black box. Exciting. I made a tweet today. No, you didn't. And uh, it did not get the uh, response I was hoping, as in any response. <laughs> I just think it was really funny. Um, Who should I take with me 
Okay. It, it said Android 18 is the powerhouse of the cell. That was the joke. Anyway, sorry, what were we saying? Um, Here's a link! Go like my tweet! Validate me! It's pretty good. Um, it got nine likes on Natter, but that's because Natter's validation land. I'm trying to decide if I want to go, I want to get Isabella. I'm trying to, I'm also trying to decide who I want to bring with me to, like, look at Seamus and be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go Isabella, but then we're gonna get Seamus. Hell yeah. And I can't, I don't know, there's so many good choices that I'll have such good, like, hmm. I wonder what that man did. I think it's gonna be a very roguey party. That's fine. That's totally fine. That's where the party's at. And, and you know, you gotta bring one warrior. That's... What's kind of annoying in Inquisition is you do have to have at least one person of each class type normally, because you can come across stuff that, like, only a warrior can do, like break through a wall. This lady. I'm suspicious. She's a little suspicious. She's not here. Should I be in here in the daytime? <laughs> where are you? I'll try daytime. And if it doesn't work in daytime... Then I guess we'll just continue with the game Then I'll just go get Seamus. I mean, you can't get him. He's not a party member. You're just well, interrupting him fucking I'm... the dude. It, I am saving Coitus him. Coitus interrupts. I am saving him from people interrupting him fucking the dude. There you go. Excuse me. The Winters! He looks pretty chill, actually. Yeah, that's just... Just yeah. hanging out. Hanging out upside His down. His legs probably popped out of the socket. One foot cocked. Him, so. I do not believe she's in here. Okay, now who am I gonna bring with me? I don't see a quest marker. Well, since it can't be quite as roguey as a sorry girl, Later. this is gonna be baller. <laughs> I don't know why, but this seems like a good group. <laughs> we are doing, like, basically a, um, a smash and grab sort of a mission anyway. I'm remembering, We uh, don't need magic for this. Like, no matter how, how you treated her, no matter what gender your hawk is, Meryl has pretty much got a crush on you immediately. Um, and you know this because, like, the very first time you take her this out- This is the guy with gunpowder, I think, right? Uh, oh, it might be. I feel like that's the only time when you get ambushed in this entire game. Um, the first time you take- which is a shame because that's a cool graphic. Mm -hmm. Um, the first time you take her and, uh- and uh, Aveline out, um, they have like a companion talk mm -hmm. and Meryl's like, man, have you seen how awesome Hawk is? She's like, super fucking great. And Aveline's like, yeah, cool, keep it to yourself. And Marilyn's like, I'd better keep it with her. By Marilyn, I mean Meryl. Cool. Marilyn is their fusion dance result. <laughs> I like it. If I could draw it, draw it! It'd be a super buff blood mage elf. It'd be pretty sweet, actually. Redhead. It would be, um, it would be like, uh... Valislain in the order of freckles. Freckles in the shape of Valislain. Sure, sure. Yeah. And the, the hair wouldn't be one color. It would be like Gotenks. It'd be black and then have red parts. So. Hey, giant spider. Dragon Ball Fighter Z came out recently. It's called Dragon Ball Fighters with a Z, and I refuse to not call it Dragon Ball Fighter Z because it's funny to me. Uh, and, uh, it's I all expect. Indy has talked about or done with her time since it came out. So I yeah, hope I you're that. happy. There he is. He's Bang got it. Amco He's got the, the gunpowder. That's him. Out of your <laughs> that was a little bit. <laughs> the blood, blood was like. No, uh, <laughs> Apparently, it's just like super great for a fighting game. The end. Sure. I just hope everyone's you hope know. everyone playing it's having a good time. I'm still playing Xenoverse because it's got RPG elements, and I don't really care for fighting games in general. Tekken's kind of my jam, and I stopped after five because it was a mess. My manners. Javaris Tintop, merchant and investor. Javaris. I mean. There's an image, says Varric, I think. I don't fucking... The there we go. <laughs> oh, Varric. Except I'm not... Maybe I'm, you two have mellowed out with age. I haven't towards Anders. Fuck that guy. I'm going... I'm keeping an opened mind. I should see if so I need my dragon. Some kind of Cunari like. magic. <laughs> what use is that to a dwarf? I never <laughs> like. I go through phases where I like don't play do Dragon Age because well. you know you get tired of Inquisition. Sure. Um, and then I'll like Same one of my Dragon Age fixes update. And I'll be like, man, I'm in a Dragon Age mood. <laughs> yeah. And then I have to like so get all that out and play Dragon Age like nonstop for a bit. Hey, I've been in a Dragon Age mood since Dragon Age two came out. So man, that's totally fair. Filters. Why does it not automatically sort by date updated? I don't know. But I can pay. 
Nope, nothing updated since the 30th of January. Although I did find, because I'm a fool, Expensive I, uh, I was like, man, I'm gonna makes you a just target. out of curiosity Maybe. look into Gelfi Fix again. And then I was like, man, I have really strong feelings about Wicked. This stuff you can like a fucking on. idiot, I dove back into that, but there's actually a good fic no. called Circle in the Sand that, uh... Um, Aveline, son of a bitch, I just need some money! God damn it, Aveline. There's a good fic called Circle in the Sand that's only three chapters so far, um... I forgot, I used to know every trick and good. when not to bring Aveline, and I don't know it anymore. Hey man, it's more organic this way. I also want to add that, uh, out of curiosity, I was looking into Left Behind fix to see if there's any Chloe Ivy fix, and there weren't. But I did see one that I was 100% sure had to have been tagged incorrectly and wasn't that was shipping the NSYNC people with each other. Um, so it was like an NSYNC Left Behind crossover. I didn't, uh, I didn't read link it. Link now. I didn't read it and I removed it from my history. Damn it. But, I was like, please link this immediately. But we'll just search Left Behind, the, the Left Behind book tag and it'll be one of the tagged relationships and you can search it that way. But I was like, surely this is tagged incorrectly. Wasn't. I'm going to go read that. Though I have no interest in then saying we're left behind. Go for it. <laughs> and hey, Discord peeps, if you're here, um, I hope that whatever it is that Rin is putting together for the whatever the ship name Nick Buckle I have no idea what they're what gonna the call hell? it. The an the Antichrist and um Oh left behind stuff. Right, right, ship, right, 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 I hope right, that whatever right, right, they come right. up with is good. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna read it because I don't care about the stories of men anymore, but more power to you. The stories of men. I'm just, like, so over it. Like, I get enough of that in actual media. It's inescapable that if I'm going to be choosing my own, like, fan-created media, it's all girls all the time. Gross. Um, so. I was going... Spe speaking of, though, I guess, the last tag I was shuffling through because I no longer care about fandoms, fandoms I guess. Hey, man. Good writing, good writing. Sometimes that's the best way to find stuff. Um, I was... Hi, spiders. Last time it was POV Outsider that La you talked this about. This time it was, a uh, gender swap, actually. Really? Which, and, like, they've started getting more specific now if it's, like, trans versus cis gender swap. Mm -hmm. But I, when I think gender swap, I specifically mean cis gender swap. Yeah. Though, I mean, there's certainly, I've, I've, like... Right, not that I'm opposed to thought, trans have, head cannons. Yeah, yeah and I've, I've actually, I think there are some trans head cannons that are very interesting. Mm -hmm. And I've definitely read them before, but that's not what I'm looking for when I go for, like, gender swap fic. Yeah. Um, or rule sixty three, I believe. It is. Yeah. Huh. Also tagged as that. Yeah. Um. I. Uh... It turned out to be a lot of Tony Stark as a woman, which is interesting. Tony with an eye. That's actually a thing. That's a thing. Comics. Yeah. It's. No, I know that one. Um, I've read. I've read a lot of that already, actually. Yeah. Um. Tony with an eye and Stevia. I also, I, I got... Stevia. 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 <laughs> Named after Eve. the sugar Red supplement. one with Eve, actually. Mm. Um, I did a little bit of getting back into 616, Steve, Tony, but it's so hard to... I just don't... I just... I just don't care about the cinematic universe. That's fair. And I don't like reading them in any the new, cinematic like... universe. I was really into Pepper Potts and Black Widow for a while. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's any new of that. So I just, yeah, I I will specifically find them in 616 occasionally. But um, there's a lot of that, which is interesting mostly because it hasn't... Oh, Fenners, you died. Where are you? Ooh, oh, there's a lot of people over there. He was single-handedly, I think, dealing with that. <laughs> Sorry, what were we saying? Whoops. Um, usually at this point... <laughs> Your name's Janadal. Yes, it is. It's been <laughs> overtaken by uh, Teen Wolf. Really? Usually. Oh, that's a lot of surprise. Yeah. Teen Wolf is huge, and I don't get it, but whatever. I, I, I say that as a hypocrite, knowing full well that if it were Teen Wolf, but everybody was a woman, I would have watched that show and stand at heart. Like, I know this about myself. I watched- I'm admitting this openly. I I'm aware of my flaws. I watched the first five episodes, and I was really into it, and then it, like, blasted off on the internet, and I was like, oh, no, bye. That's not what I wanted out of this. I wanted to watch a crappy MTV show and not- there not to be any fandom. Like, yeah. I am um, speaking of fix though. I not that any oh, listeners you made us walk a long not ways. that any listeners care, but um, I have a a no longer but was semi abandoned work in progress uh, Glee A U fic because I'm a respectable person. Hey, Vernus, hmm. that uh, don't remember that read and watched Glee. Uh, only three seasons. Don't worry about it. Um, but if anybody, three seasons if anybody was a reader of that, it has been updated. What uh, is trying to fight me? Five I years, way down at the NDC on the map. 
five years after the last chapter in 2013, a chapter about Canasta, because that's what you were waiting for. And then the next chapter to be posted on the 23rd is a chapter of Rachel alone in her apartment, because I know what the people want. Um, but the point is I'm working on it again. Um, here's a link in the description. Fuck you guys. Pimp myself. It's not good or anything, but if you were a reader and lost the link, that's really the only crowd I'm appealing to right now.